We have some good news to talk about coming out of Washington today, HuffPost reports. In an effort led by Senate Armed Services Committee Chairman John McCain, senators voted in a landslide 78-21 to to tack an amendment onto the fiscal 2016 National Defense Authorization Act that would forbid the use of torture by any agent of the U.S. government and standardize certain non-coercive interrogation methods across the government's military and intelligence arms. So it's HuffPost and it's some other outlets that have articles about this. I think uh, one of the ones, maybe from Reuters, says something along the lines of U.S. outlaws torture. So it's certainly a positive development, to say the least. It's good that it won in an absolute landslide, 78 to 21. But then there is another angle to this story. Really, 21 senators are on the record as, I am pro-torture. But obviously only if we do it. If our enemies do it, they're criminals and they're terrorists and they shouldn't live. So there's that angle to it. But also, I, I mean, I can't help, my cynical side comes out when I read articles like this. And I can't help but think, dude, the year's 2015. The year's 2015 and I have to come out here on the show to say, Yay! The U.S. rejected torture! yippity skidoo! Okay. U.S. Outlaws Torture is a fucking headline that should have existed on day one when we founded the country. I mean, that's something... How long has the international law outlawed torture? Since for however long there's been international law, probably even back during the League of Nations days they had that. Obviously, back to, what is it, 1200 with Magna Carta? That was probably one of the things laid out in there in one way or another. I mean, the U.S. Constitution, the Eighth Amendment, protects from cruel, unusual punishment. You know, I'm not a genius or anything here, but I'm pretty sure that implicit in that is you can't torture people. That would be cruel by definition. That would be unusual by definition. So, uh, how exactly are we supposed to be really excited right now? And the thing that's so amazing about this is, like, you get this sense, even from all the articles from well-meaning outlets, you get the sense that everybody's, like, patting themselves on the back and shit. They're like, we just banned torture. <laughs> uh, what do you want, a fucking cookie? I, I mean... <laughs> It, just, it strikes me as utterly ridiculous that as 2015, we brought back torture. You know, we were open about it with Cheney and Bush and the, the CIA memo that was just released. And then we get rid of it and we're like, okay, now we'll wash our hands. All's, uh, all's good. It's all good now, right? We, we, there's no, nobody has to pay for anything anymore. We're all, we're all set here. I mean, again, just imagine one of our enemies does something like that. Like Hamas, militant organization, decides like they, they, you know, come out tomorrow and say, no more. We now reject violence, and now we're going to never torture under any circumstance. Are we all good now? We, you guys don't want to continue this conflict? So, call it even Stevens and get out of here? Want to grab a burger? <laughs> no, we'd be like, well, you're still fucking Hamas. Fuck you. But when we do it, we're like, okay, now that, we're, now that we officially rejected torture, now the world can forgive us. Right? And can uh, George Bush and Dick Cheney and Rumsfeld now go give speeches in, like, Canada without having to worry about being arrested and brought up on war crimes? Can we have that now? No, you can't. No, you can't, you assholes. It's not all forgiven. You can't just wash your hands of it. But look, even though I'm being all sour grapes and being bitter here, and I believe everything I'm saying, that it is ridiculous that it's 2015 and we're like, yay, no more torture. Uh, it is obviously better. It is a step in the right direction. It's better than if they didn't do it. 